The catch up programme is an intense intervention programme and it deals with reading, spelling, handwriting and comprehension. The first three minutes is a prepared read where I will give Erica an overview of the story so then when it's time for her to read she can concentrate on reading for meaning. Now then, I've chosen this book for you and it's called Cinder Boy and it's from a range of stories called Seriously Silly Stories. Now then, do you know a fairy tale with that word Cinder in? What would that be? Cinderella. Cinderella, and she was a girl, but this one is a Cinder Boy. And if we turn to the back cover, it says, Cinder Boy needs some magical help from the TV godmother. How else will he get to the Big Cup final? That sounds interesting. Shall we have a try? Right, OK, now then, let's have a look at this story. All of a sudden, Cinder Boy stepped out of the kitchen. And on his face he wore a pink silk mask and in his hand was a tiny pair of pink shorts. Well then, stepbrother, he said, let's see if you fit into these. The next stage is that Erica reads for eight minutes. Now, what I'd like you to do now then is to read this story to me. If there are words there that you're not sure of, Mrs. Thomas will help you. Okay? Yeah. Off you go. Cinder Boy was crazy about football. The whole family supported Royal Palace United. Royal Palace Stomp. Okay, can I stop you there, please, Erica? I'd like to ask you a question. Who was the main character in this story? Cinder Boy. Good girl. Right, carry on with your reading. Erica has always been a confident little girl orally. But when you give her a book when she was younger, she'd just clam up and wouldn't know what to do with it. Now, through the catch-up programme, because it's on a one-to-one, -one, it's in a supported environment, she's given lots of praise and encouragement. Before they come on catch-up, they see the more able children and the middle-of-the-road children getting new books all the time while they are struggling with the same old book, not wanting to take it home. It creates stress at home as well that they don't know how to read. All of a sudden, when they put on board catch-up, they're not on reading schemes, they're on real books, real fun books. So that little child runs all the way down the corridor, more often than not with the certificate, and tells the children and the teacher, I've read a book today. I'm asking you now then, Erica, have a good look at the words and the sentence, and I'm going to cover it up. Good girl, you remember the little... Dots. Who? Who? Okay, good girl. Here's the first word, who. Good girl. You've written who again. Brilliant. You've written who again. Smashing. Are the focus word, good girl, and you, super duper. Now then, when I covered it up, let's see if you're right this time. Fantastic, the third who. And the next who is fine. What's happened over here? They're the same three sounds. That one is fine. We'll give a tick to R and you. I'll give a tick as well for the question mark. How many ticks have you got on that last line? Can you count them for me? Five. Good girl. But we need a little bit of help on that one. So I'll cover it up and let's see if you can write the word who there by yourself. Okay? I'll cover it with my hand. Off you go and you can write it there. Is it the same as that one? Yeah. Good girl. I think I'll let you take that one. Okay, now in the comments box, I'm going to write something here. Erica enjoyed this story. Am I telling the truth there? Yeah. But she is an Everton supporter. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, is Mrs. Thomas going to say a prayer for you tonight? 
Yeah. Oh, thank you very much indeed. That was a brilliant session. I think you deserve a catch-up certificate, don't you? Yeah. My youngest one absolutely struggled in school. When he used to come home, I used to ask him, have you had a new book today? Which is the worst thing a parent can do. But that's what they want to know. It's not about how they're doing in maths or how they're doing in science or history or geography. I put pressure on my child. Well, haven't you had a new book this week? Because he was still struggling on, on his reading book in the classroom. And I just hate that for children. I really, really do. It makes them feel a failure themselves. The teacher doesn't make them feel a failure. They feel it themselves. Because it's firmly embedded in school, the children at the basic skills level definitely benefit greatly from this. The difference in their levels and their reading ages, it's amazing. Their confidence as readers, their enthusiasm to read, and all of this transfers into the classroom and it 